What is a patentability search? Contrary to popular belief, a patentability search is an effort that is directed towards determining whether an invention is obvious or not. Patentability searches are directed towards seeing whether an invention involves an inventive step. It is not directed towards determining whether an invention involves novelty. Now this is a distinction that is important to be understood and to be established at the outset. There is a provision in the Indian Patents Act, Section 13, which calls for a search for anticipation by previous publication or by prior claim. Now, in other words, this is a search that is done by an examiner when an application is filed. The objective of this search is to ensure that the invention as it is covered in a patent application has not been anticipated. So in common parlance, when you talk about a search, it is easy for somebody to focus on a search for novelty. But patentability searches throughout the world are directed in determining whether there is inventive step or whether the invention is obvious or not. Now, the reason an applicant may want to do a patentability search is to determine the chances of obtaining a patent. Because once you are reasonably confident about the inventive step, then the chances of the patent being granted, other things being satisfied, are much better. Now, in a patentability search, there are a series of events that normally happens which culminates into a patentability search. By convention, especially in the advanced jurisdictions like United States, a patentability search is not done by the patent attorney. It is not the person who drafts the patent who does the search. It is done by a different set of professionals called searchers. So let me just list the list of sequences that would normally happen when a patentability search is requested for. Number one, a search request is made by the patent attorney to the searcher. And this search request would indicate what is the time and cost that has to be expended in the search because that is critical. It defines the invention or the disclosure of the invention which needs to be searched. And it also gives some broad categories of areas where the patent uh, has to be searched for. Once this is done, the second step will be to actually do the search and this search is done by the searcher. Once the search is done, the third step would be to review the references developed by the searcher because a searcher may use a free database like a database uh, provided by the various patent offices or by free patents online or by Google Google's patent search. Now, the, what, what the searcher would do is he will first collect a set of references. Now, the third step involves reviewing these references. And the fourth step would be to report the results to the client, which could be the inventor himself, if the searcher is directly dealing with the inventor, or the patent attorney. How this report is communicated can have certain implications in patent law. Now, one thing that needs to be understood well is that a patentability search is not a search of validity. When you do a patentability search, when you do a search, it does not guarantee or it does not warrant the validity of an invention. Now this is clear from the language of section 13.4. Now we have section 13 here and section 13.4 tells us that the examination and investigations required under section 12, which is done by the patent office, and this section, which is section 13, shall not be deemed in any way to warrant the validity of any patent. This tells us that the search does not warrant the validity of a patent. This also tells us a patentability search is much different from an inquiry into the validity of a patent. Now, section 12 and 13 deals with aspects of search. 
aspects of validity are dealt in section 64 which lists the grounds on which a validity can be questioned so these two things are uh, completely different so you need to bear in mind that uh, patentability search is not a report on the validity of a patent the validity of a patent requires a much more uh, in depth analysis and the validity report will actually give make a statement on whether the patent is valid what are the conflicting uh, reasons or the give the give out the reasons why the patent should not be granted or why why it can be invalidated in case of a granted patent now a validity report or what we call a patentability study would be used in at least three different situations one it could be generated by a defendant in a patent infringement suit where the defendant wants to raise a counter claim to invalidate a patent so a counter claim or the defense of invalidity can be raised in a patent infringement suit by the defendant so for the defendant to know whether the patent is valid or not the defendant could initiate a validity uh, study now the second instance could be where the patentee could ask for a validity study to ensure that he has a good chance of surviving a patent infringement suit where invalidity has been questioned the third scenario where a validity study will be relevant is to ensure that a licensee or a person who is trying to buy out a pa patent uh, can have an understanding on how much the patent is worth so the it it's it's an equivalent for or it could be used as a measure for understanding the value of a patent 